You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may, some, blah, some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody! I'm coming at you today with more Let's Play content. So let's go ahead and jump right back in. We are playing Remember the Flowers. So y'all, sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes, Montana, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> That's somewhat comforting, although I need to be smart. Uh, thanks, but no offense, I don't really trust you. Not yet, anyway. Axel looks a bit hurt. Ring looks indifferent. That's... Uh, that's understandable. I'm not gonna try to push you, you've been through a lot. I just hope that you'll help us when you need... I just hope that you'll let us help when you need it. I appreciate it, I think I just need some time. Well, you'll have plenty of it, Rumi. Oh. Right, I'm living with you guys now, huh? Yep, that's not negotiable, but like I said, we'll accommodate you to the best of our abilities. I see, well, it's not like I could really do anything about it. It would be best if you cooperated with us, we're not going to hurt you. Well, I'm, I might if you get on my nerves. Again, I'd like to see you try to hurt me. Is that a fact? Guys? Axel tries to get us to stop this childish quibble. He started it. Hmm. Anyway, is there anything... Anyway, is there anything specific you want when we get back? Uh, we have to clear out one of the rooms, but we can try to accommodate your needs. Uh, hmm. I never really thought about it. I don't know what kind of stuff y'all really have. It could be so it could be something small for starters. Money's not a problem. Hey, don't use our funds on him. I'm using mine, don't worry. You're so easy, man. I'm just trying to be a good host. Axel crosses his arms with pride and lets out a breath through his nose. Come on, there must be something you miss. Food, drinks, pastimes, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I used to play the piano a lot, but it's been so long I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, also, it's been so long I'm worried I wouldn't be very good at it. Oh, I think now. How about a bath, like a tub? Talk about old-fashioned. Fitting. Hey, I like baths too. I have one you can use, and we can work on getting you one. That'd be great. I can't remember the last time I've taken a bath. Ring raises a brow at that. Axel continues. I'll have our doctor show you how to show you how to cover the ports on your back. They're water resistant, but it's still a good idea. You know about those two? Yes, sadly. I'm not sure if I want to know what they're used for. I wouldn't either, but we do have some conditions. We need to learn as much about resume from you as we can, no matter what. Why? So we can expose those freaks to the world and beyond. And that's why you want my help? Indeed. We also want you to recuperate from all they've done to you. I'm told you just can't you just can't feel pain, is that right? Yeah. They did they did that to you. They treated your nerves for a long time in order to be more efficient at, for lack of a better term, harvesting from you. Shudder again. I can almost feel scalpels cutting my skin and muscles apart so someone could pick at my bones. I see. I think I could use that break now, sorry. Of course, it's nothing to apologize for. Hey, boss? There's a voice coming from the ceiling. Must be an intercom. Hey, Rose. What's up? We're coming across our first pit stop. We'll probably need to stay overnight. Understood. Axel turns towards me. Do you want to get some fresh air soon? That'd be pretty nice, to be honest. Just try not to run. Wouldn't dream of it. Ring growls as we get into a glaring contest. Axel sighs. Glad to see you two are getting along. Ring and I let out a joint. Oh, hell no! We get into a childish argument while Axel looks on, chuckling to himself. In the back of my head, I can't help but wonder if I'm happy to find someone new to spat with. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Conflict usually brings understanding, or at least progress. We humans are geared for conflict. And we're geared to seek it, too. After we both cooled down, Axel and I got to chatting. While Ring kept to himself while working on his axiom. He started telling me about what he does while not a, what he does while not on any jobs. You really run your own bar? Sure do. Well, I try to. I usually have a manager keep tabs on the place while I'm away, but I can make a mean cocktail. Huh, I wasn't a huge drinker back home, but I liked Long Island iced teas. Oh, what's in it? Oh shit, what is in it? I try to think back as much as I can, but all I can recall is just a mishmash of a bunch of stuff. Uh, everything? It's a lot of liquor, a lot of liquor of different types. I see. Maybe I can try to make you one sometime. Maybe. I doubt you have the, you'd have the right stuff. Maybe we had to go to a specific bar in town just to get anything good. Why's that? Our college had a lot of bars, but only a few were any good. 
We like the gay bar the most. Oh, yeah? He raises his brow suggestively. Whoa, whoa, easy there, tiger. Whoa, deja vu. <laughs> I have been in this place before. I am on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Okay. Feels like I'm talking to Damien. I'm the wiser, Axel chuckles. Sorry, <laughs> do go on. Huh? Oh. What? Just missing home. I'm still not sure how I'll get back. Axel opens his eyes. Oh, you're trying to go back? Well, yeah, I miss everyone. I see. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about that. It seems to be getting more and more impossible each day. Green coughs. Well, we might not have drinks like that, but we got some shit that will knock you, knock you out for a month. Uh, that doesn't sound very fun. You get used to it. Our line In our line of work, we need it from time to time. Do you like what you do? Ring doesn't respond and focuses on, Axi on his axiom again. Prick. What about you? Do you like what you do? Hmm. It has its perks. We live comfortably, but we do some pretty serious stuff to put food on the table sometimes. Such as... Oh, uh, well... He sighs. We have been hired as hitmen before. Oh. He's so casual about it. It's kind of freaky. It reminds me to stay on my guard again. I see. Whatever gets the bread, I guess. What about bread? What about bread? It's an expression. Whatever gets you paid, basically. Ah, well, we usually ship ship one guy out to do those jobs. Hey, don't talk about him behind his back. I wasn't. I was telling Cyrus what he does. Well, don't. His privacy is more important than anyone else's, and you know that. I know, but he's not going to be able to avoid Cyrus forever. Hmm. Let, me introdu let him introduce himself, if he lasts that long. What? We're not going to do anything to him. You're not, but... He gives a weird grin, trying to be over the top with his joke. Axel flicks his ear, which makes Ring wince. Stop it. Okay, okay. You're no fun. This isn't supposed to be fun. Those, <clears throat> those were your words, remember? <clears throat> I don't recall. Rose interrupts over the loudspeaker. Okay, guys, we're here. Thank f Thank fuck. Ready to get some fresh air, Cyrus? Sure. I gaze out the window. It looks pretty desolate. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to run away now. I turn back to Axel. He's got an optimistic grin on his face. I sigh. What's the worst that could happen? What was that? Oh, nothing, nothing. The vehicle comes to a rolling stop. Hmm. <laughs> when Axel and Ring get up, I follow suit. Oh, wow. They're tall. I'm, I'm six foot tall, and I'm pretty sure Axel's about a foot taller than me. Ring has maybe a couple of inches on me. Yeah, I think it'd be in my best interest just to play along. Everything okay? Axel looks down to me, still smiling. Huh, oh, I just didn't realize you were so big. He's tall, huh? So are, so are you, Ring. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he's sulking. Does he have a height complex or something? Thankfully, I stopped myself from snorting. You are pretty tall. I didn't know many tigers, but one of the one I was pretty close to was just a little shorter than Ring. Dragons are supposed to be taller. Oh, wow, yep, that's a complex. I don't really want to get into that right now. Wait, how long are we going to stay here again? Probably for the night. We'll get up early and should be able to make it back by lunchtime tomorrow. I see. Now that I think about it, I'm getting kind of hungry. The last meal I had was breakfast yesterday with... I grimace. The dumb part of me wants to try to be petty not to take a random person's food again. Thankfully, the smart part of me pushes to ask for something to eat. Hey, sorry, but do y'all have any food? I haven't eaten since yesterday morning. Axel opens his eyes in shock. It's not for very long. I can't help but wonder why he keeps them shut. Oh. Oh, of course. We packed a lot for the trip. I have dibs on the dumplings. Ugh, sorry about that. Now, now, we have guests, Ring. The dragon groans loudly before staring bullets into me. Those are mine. I gulp. Those are his. Axel sighs again. Cyrus can have some, Ring. We have plenty. I'm watching you. Please don't. All right. All right, all right. Move along, you two. Axel gets behind us and starts to push us out of the in-vehicle. What am I going to do with you two? He started it. No, I fucking didn't. The bickering persists until we meet with Rose outside. I'm merely blinded by how intense the sun is. Ah, my eyes! I've been flashbanged! Huh. I love Rose's look. She's like big hyena, big cybernetic hyena mommy. Wait. 
Johnny Pink Hand. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Oh, hey there. She perks up and walks up to me, kneeling down so she's more eye level. How are you feeling? Uh, fine. Thank you. She claps her hands together. It gives me a good look at her prosthetic arm. Good. I'm glad. You were in a rough, in a rough enough state the first time we found you. A hyena starts to pat my head. I can tell she's holding back, but that doesn't stop her from bobbing my head up and down. Um, uh, hmm? She seems pretty nice, but I'm already a bit overwhelmed with everything as is. We didn't go through all that trouble just for you to squish him, Rose. What do you mean, we? Axel and I did the hard work. You just stayed in the car. Hey, you wouldn't be able to do Jack without me hacking into their security systems. Which screwed up so bad that we lost a whole week of progress and nearly got us all caught. You're bashing a guard's head after they asked for you to offer you for authorization. I was sending it to you. They start to get into each other's faces. Both of them are puffing up as they argue. Instinctively, I take a step back. Not realizing I backed into Axel's chest. Oh, sorry. I moved to stand next to him. You're fine. What's up? Is this normal for them? Hmm? Oh, yeah, they do this all the time. I look back at the bickering duo. I can't even understand what they're saying anymore. I thought I liked bantering, but this? Maybe they're just that close. Axel doesn't seem to want to stop them. You can leave them be. They've been cooped up for a while and probably want to blow off some steam. Uh, Rose and Ring are pulling, are pulling on each other's faces at this point. Oh my god. Huh. Want me to give you the tour? Sure. Why not? It's not much, but we've staked out here a few times. It's like an old warehouse. Is it safe? The roof caved in once, but we fixed it. Why don't you just stay in the car? We have power. We have to power it down in order to conserve energy. It gets stuffy and hot really fast with three people. Huh. Why don't we just find a capsule motel? Oh, you've used one? Lance took me to his place with one. Ah, uh, well, there aren't many places that could fit everything we bring. Believe me, we've tried cramming the in vehicle in one. I see. Do you need any help setting up? Sure. You can help me carry some supplies in. It'll give us a chance to avoid the bickering. Sounds good. We make our way around to the side of the in vehicle. Rose is nearly strangling Ring on the ground. Ring lets out yelps here and there. Axel opens a panel on the side of the car. Rose, play nice. I'll think about it, boss. He's still smiling. It's just a typical Tuesday, I guess. Weirdos. It'd be endearing if, it, if I wasn't forced to be here. Okay, I'm gonna start bringing stuff into the warehouse. Should take more than half an hour to set everything up. If you could grab some of the smaller boxes, that'd be appreciated. I'll try. It takes a bit of effort, but even my spindly arms can lift up two of the boxes. Maybe I can garner some trust by being cooperative. Find out what they know. Then book it. Oh yeah, do you have any favorite foods? Hmm... I probably do, but I don't remember any off the top of my head. I see. Well, if you figure out anything, let me know. I'll be happy to make it for you. Axel gives me a reassuring smile. At least I think he's trying to be reassuring. Hmm. Stupid wolf. I hate that I can't take. I can't hate that I can't take gestures like that at face value anymore. I'll think about it. What about you? What's your favorite? That's a toughie. I have a lot of favorites. Axel nods in the direction of the warehouse, signaling me to follow. If I had to pick, it'd probably be some kind of seafood. I love fish. I can't help but chuckle. What? Nothing, I just, just... I know another tiger with similar tastes. Ah, I see. Well, it's pretty common for us to like fish. I wouldn't pass up a good steak, though. <laughs> I don't think I would either. I can't help but think back a bit. To a time where I convinced Damien to go on, go on a nice date with me. It's fuzzy, but I can make the general idea out. I remember how much he how much he griped about wearing a button-up shirt. It looked good on him. I can't help but sigh. Something wrong? Just reminiscing. Something sad? No, not at all. I can't help but smile a little as I as I head into the warehouse. What are they like? What are they like? I hesitate as I plant the boxes down next to Axel's. It'd be nice to take it'd be nice to talk about myself for a change. I'm trying to think of all the possibilities on the spot is sort of debilitating. This would be a good opportunity to keep some level of control in the conversation. He's my boyfriend, and I, I, and I miss him. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hear what? Well, he's passed on, right? What? No, what? Huh? Why would you think that? For some reason, I feel a bit, a bit of heat in my cheeks. I don't know, I didn't think you'd know someone back and resume like that. 
I didn't know him there. I knew him back home. Oh, I see. Sorry for misunderstanding. The big tiger looks embarrassed. I wasn't trying to insinuate anything. I huff. It's fine. I don't know why I got so riled up myself. It's okay. You've been through a lot, especially in the past few days. Tell me about it. That's what I was going to say. I know you gave us the rundown earlier, but I want to know more about your thoughts on the situation. What's there to talk about? I was handed from one person to another group. Well, that may not be entirely inaccurate. We did bring you out of resume, but to keep you as far away from there as possible. Axel's rummaging through one of the boxes. Looks like he's setting up some portable cooking equipment. Do you hate Lan Do you hate Lance? He asks it so casually, but I can tell he's been wanting to ask for a while now. I ponder for a moment. I'm still not so sure. It'll all happen so fast. I think I still have emotional whiplash. We can work through that if you want to. I'd understand if you'd rather not, though. After everything you've been through, I'm sure trusting people is a challenge in and of itself. Maybe. I can't tell if he's reading my vibe or just being cons just being considerate. There shouldn't be any harm in venting my emotions as long as I remain perceptive. Right? I guess it's not inaccurate to say that I kind of kind of hate him. Ugh. It surprises me how hard that was to say. I mean, he dragged me around just so he could sell me. Speaking in half-truth probably just to make himself feel better, too. Oh, you wouldn't want to stay with me. Damn right I don't. But even still... I pause again. Axel stops what he's doing to give me his full attention. Take your time. It's just... Even now, I, I can't figure out what was real and what wasn't. How much of our friendship was a lie? Axel nods. I guess he's had some experiences himself. What do you think? Me? Well... That seems to have caught him off guard. I guess I'm just surprised with how similar our experiences were. I knew him for a long time, but didn't expect him to do what he did. All for the sake of our family, our found family, no less. Although we, I'm pretty sure he was just in it for the money. Sounds about right. Money was all the guy could talk about. It's hard to believe he'd go off and sell someone we swore to protect. Even harder to believe that he thought we'd understand. Well, I'm glad he didn't. No, we, under we understood why he did it. We just didn't agree with it and threw him out. Now it's his turn to pause. Sometimes I still think that I should have been ended it there, so that he wouldn't keep doing it. It wouldn't be wrong to say that it is partly my fault that you had to deal with him in the first place. I'm sorry about that. That surprises me. He's displaying more honesty in the past few hours than I've seen in the past week a week alone. Sorry, I didn't mean to make things heavy. You mind fetching the others? They should be done with their squabble right about now. I'll need some help getting dinner started. Oh, sure. I'll be right back. Something about him. He's not like Lance. And while I want to stay alert, something tells me I can trust him. I hope I can, for my sake. He's gonna go outside and they're both gonna be like fucking or something. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a happy new year. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot more content coming at you in the new year. Some gonna be some big changes and everything. I'm gonna be adding things to the channel. I'm probably gonna be opening up a second channel as well. Guys, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited to go through all these uh, different changes and improvements with y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!